today's topic of discussion is residual unbalance and eccentricity of the rotor in this video we would like to discuss about uh, what are the residual unbalance of the rotor and permissible residuals unbalance as per guidelines and how to calculate the eccentricity of the rotor so let's begin the discussion uh, this is a rotor which is supported at bearing number one and bearing number two and this rotor has eccentricity of uh, eu which is shown in the figure so let's understand about the eccentricity of the rotor and residual unbalance the rotor consists of uh, all the rotating component like shaft impeller or wheel shaft sleeve etc so this is called rotor so all the rotating component are is considered rotor the center of gravity cg of rotor mass is not in the axis of rotation that means there will be some offset between the cg of the rotor mass and axis of rotation so that offset is called the eccentricity of the rotor Practically, it is impossible to develop a rotor with zero eccentricity due to manufacturing tolerance of the component, porosity of material, fitment tolerance, etc. That means for any rotor, there will be some eccentricity that depends on how precisely rotor is manufactured and assembled. If the eccentricity is present in the rotor, then there will be centrifugal force acting on the rotor which cause vibration the centrifugal force depends on the mass of the rotor eccentricity and operating speed which is expressed as centrifugal force is equal to mass into eccentricity into angular speed square the residual unbalance is defined as the product of rotor mass and eccentricity which is expressed as residual unbalance is called to mass into eccentricity now what are the rotor permissible tolerances allowable tolerances so there are two standard guidelines are being used one is called iso grade 1940 another is epa guidelines as per iso grade total maximum allowable residual unbalance u max is equal to f into g into m upon n where u max is a maximum allowable residual unbalance in gram mm f is a factor which is 9549 which is constant and g is a grade it can be 1 it can be 2.5 or any number m is the total mass of rotor in kg and n is a speed of the rotor in rpm so this is formula for iso grade and as per epi guideline the maximum allowable residual and balance per plane this is for the total plane both plane this is for per plane each plane u max is equal to f into m upon n where u max is a maximum allowable residual and balance in gram mm F is a factor which is 6350 constant. M is a total mass of rotor in kg. N is the speed of rotor in RPM. A rotor has total mass of 20 kg and its speed is 27,500 RPM. Calculate the maximum residual unbalance as per ISO grade 1 and API guideline. As per ISO grade 1, given m is total mass of rotor is 20 kg n is speed of rotor is 27500 rpm g is grade 1 f is factor 9549 constant then maximum allowable residual and balance u max is equal to f into g into m upon n so after putting this value u max is coming as 6.945 gram mm as per api guideline M is total mass of rotor is 20, N is speed of rotor is 27,500 RPM, F is a factor 6350. 
So maximum allowable is to and balance per plane U max is equal to F into M upon N. So U max is equal to 6350 into 20 upon 27,500. So U max is a 4.618 gram mm in each plane and this is total. So this is both plane you can say. Now rotor eccentricity. The rotor eccentricity is calculated once the residual unbalance of rotor and its total mass are known. Generally, residual unbalance is the rotor in the rotor of the rotor is known by checking the unbalance on balancing machine. So let's assume the residual unbalance of rotor is U gram mm. Total mass of rotor is capital M is kg then you have to convert in gram so multiply 1000 rotor eccentricity eu is mm so rotor eccentricity eu is equal to residual and balance of rotor upon total mass of rotor so you can write u upon m into 1000 so normally the residual and balance of rotor is given in two planes let's say plane one and two then Residual uh, ro rotor eccentricity E U is equal to sum of residual unbalance of plane 1 and 2 upon total mass of the rotor. So let's understand within example. So rotor has residual unbalance at plane 1 and plane 2 is 0.4 gram mm and 0.32 gram mm respectively. The rotor has its total mass of 20 kg. Calculate the eccentricity of rotor given the residual unbalance of rotor in plane 1 is u1 is equal to 0.4 gram mm residual unbalance of rotor in plane 2 u2 is equal to 0.32 gram mm total mass of rotor m is 20 kg so now you have to convert in 20 into 1000 is gram rotor eccentricity is u eu in millimeter so total residual unbalance of rotor is u is equal to u1 plus u2 which is coming at 0.72 gram mm so rotor eccentricity u eu is equal to sum of residual unbalance of plane 1 and 2 divided by total mass of rotor so eu is equal to 0.72 upon 20 into 1000 which is equal to 3.6 into 10 to the power minus 5 mm millimeter so Hope you have understood about the eccentricity of the rotor and what are the permissible or allowable maximum unbalance as per the ISO grade and as per the API guidelines. So thank you. Thank you for watching.